Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel and welcome to 2023. This is my first video of the year and it's very fitting because I have something very cool and very new to show you. Okay guys, so recently I went down to the All-in-One Guitars AIO shop over here in uh, Los Angeles because I'd heard that they had brought out some new Strat type models. And I went and I saw these things and I've got one here to show you. And these just totally blew me away. Take a look at this and imagine a super nice like neck through Charvel, but without the multi-thousand dollar price tag. Now I will show you this guitar here and obviously this is the one I'm going to focus on for this, this demo and this review, but uh, they have many different versions of this basic guitar right here. And first of all, just take a look at that backside there so you can see this beautiful neck through construction. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you kind of might recognize this, the sort of neck through style guitar from AIO, uh, because I've talked about a couple of other guitars that use this same construction from them before in the past. But basically, recently, they have just massively expanded the models that they have. And now they've got a really, uh, really cool variety of these different Strat models to choose from. Now let's go over the basic specs on this guitar. So you can kind of look down here, right, where you see the different pieces of, of wood that they're using for this. Because of course, the neck is a combination of maple and walnut, and it's a five piece neck through design. Now, the, uh, the sort of inner wings, these parts here of the body are ash. And then on this guitar, it has a maple top. And you see this, this line right here. That's where the maple sits on top of the ash. And you can see the, the separation between the two pieces of wood there. Now, in addition to that, we've got a really beautiful ebony fretboard. 22 frets on this guitar. And of course, as you would always expect from, from AIO, the, the frets are finished really, really beautifully. They do these really extensive setups before they ship them out. Um, also, a couple other cool things in the hardware department. Okay, look up here. We've got locking tuners on this guitar. And then we also have a Wilkinson Strat style bridge. And this has the push in trim arm, okay, down here. So you just push it in. You don't have to sit there and screw it around a whole bunch of times. It fits in there nice and snug. So it just stays wherever you put it which I always like, so it's not, you know, swinging back and forth, swinging in the breeze and clattering around and so forth. Now, for controls and the just overall electronics, we've got a very basic single volume, single tone, and a five-way selector switch, and then the classic three single coil setup on this guitar. But here is the big thing to keep in mind. You know, you see this guitar with this bridge and this pickup arrangement, really cool, you know, nice classic design, right? But they have a whole bunch of variations on this. And so they've got some guitars which have different wood tops where instead of the maple, they have the walnut, right? And some of them have a single, single hum, you know, or a humbucker in the bridge position. They've got different variations on that. They've got one that I think they're calling boysenberry top. And this looks like something right out of the Charvel catalog, except for the fact that it has amazing, this amazing neck through construction and a much, much more affordable price tag. And this guitar here, I went with this because this is sort of, you know, maybe the simplest version of the guitar, but they even have some versions with a Floyd Rose style bridge if you wanna go all out super strat. Now I've been comparing this to like Charvel, right? So imagine getting a Charvel like this where uh, it's this beautiful neck through construction, right? I mean, what would you pay for that? Two, three, maybe $4,000 for a guitar like that, right? With that style of construction in, a, in an awesome Strat shape like this. Well, if you're familiar with the AIO stuff, you know, Wolf and AIO, you know these guitars generally go for around $500 and these guitars are no exception. I'm seeing like $529, $549, $579, depending on the model with the slight variations in hardware and so forth. So right in that price range for one of these guitars. And I think really their thought process on this is that they had, or they have actually, a model called the TC1, which is a Tele style guitar with the same neck through construction. They've had that model for a few years and it's been very, very popular. In fact, I, 
uh, you know, I did a review on it years ago, and I still get people ask me about that guitar to this day. And I think because of the popularity of that guitar, the Tele style guitar, they went ahead and they were like, well, you know, the Tele was so popular, we have to make some Strat versions of this guitar. And they have really just dove headfirst down that rabbit hole and come up with some really cool concepts. Now, we'll get into the demo in just a second here, but you know, the thing, the reason I'm so excited about these is, you know, AIO, uh, Wolf AIO, they've had some really good quality guitars for a long time. You know, nice guitars, good hardware, and they do a great setup on it and this kind of stuff. But I'm just really stoked now to see them getting into some guitars that are more distinctive and kind of set them apart from other companies in, in a good way. These are really unique guitars, and they're not just unique for the sake of being different, but they're really well thought out, and I think just a big win across the board. Okay, now, you know, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times, looks aren't everything. So let's go ahead and plug this in and listen to how the guitar sounds. I will use my Fender GTX 100 amplifier. Love this amplifier, especially for demos and stuff. And I'll go through a variety of different tones from the amp so we can really uh, hear how this guitar sounds. But real quick, guys, as always, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool, new, affordable guitars, and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and plug this in and listen to how it sounds.
Okay, guys. Woo! There it is. This thing, uh, this thing is a joy to play. First, let's talk about this neck here because in a lot of ways, that's kind of the standout feature of this guitar. So, aside from the fact that you've got this insane neck uh, joint, I mean, it's not a neck joint, right? It's, I guess, because there's no joint, right? But the heel, I mean, this is just dives right into the body, super smooth. The entire guitar has a satin finish on it. Now, I, I always love a satin finish on the back of the neck, but the fact that it goes from the neck all the way down to the back of the body and, you know, this lower horn here and everything, and it's all smooth. Your hand just glides over it effortlessly. Now, we add to that the ebony fretboard, okay? Nice, you know, tight wood grain on this, you know, very beautiful dark ebony on, on this particular guitar. And we've got these really nice fret ends. I mean, these, these are traditional fret ends, right? But again, as if I haven't said this enough already, AIO, they, they do a complete setup before, before they ship out the guitar to you. And it really makes a huge difference just in the playability and the intonation and that kind of stuff too. Also guys, how about these pickups here? You know, I've probably mentioned this many times in the past. I'm not a huge single coil guy, but on this guitar, I mean, they, they just sound so nice, especially on those lower gain and cleaner settings. The, the pickups have a, um, a clarity and a cleanliness to them, you could say, that, that really just, it makes the notes just pop out and sing and have a really nice voice from this guitar. And of course, I always have to crank up the gain and listen to how it sounds, you know, playing my, my wannabe Ingve runs and that kind of stuff, right? And this guitar excels at that too. So these are certainly not going to be like hot pickups, right? Uh, you're probably not going to be doing a lot of, you know, drop-tuned metal or something like that with this guitar. Uh, but, you know, for any of the styles that I was playing in the demo, I mean, these pickups work great. Now, there's another thing I, I really want to point out on this guitar, and I think this is going to apply to all of these guitars that have the satin natural finish, right? Where you can see the, the beautiful, you know, just wood, the, the original wood color and the grain, right? You can see that so clearly here. So... Each one of these guitars is going to be slightly different. I mean, there's slight variations and even imperfections, you could say, in the wood grain. There's little tiny things you can find where, you know, maybe this right here. I mean, you probably can't even see it on the camera, but that could be maybe considered a knot, right? A little imperfection in the wood grain. Um, and you can find, you know, there's a little, little one back here, right? And depending on how you hold it in the light, it looks slightly different, right? And so that's something you should expect on these guitars. I mean, these are not like photo tops or they're running them off a copy or something like that. But the, all the little differences and everything in the wood grain really come through when you have a finish like this. But so if you want something that's just cookie cutter, you know, every guitar is exactly the same, then you might not, you know, you might not be comfortable with this. But I love it because it makes every guitar slightly unique. So the guitar that you get will be unique to you. And as if that wasn't enough, you know, you can go ahead and choose, you know, do you want, you know, what pickup configuration do you want it with? What top wood do you want it with? What kind of bridge do you want it with? You've got all these different choices, all these different variations to choose from. And I think they're all pretty cool. I don't think you could really go wrong with any of them. Okay, but guys, let me know what you think of this guitar uh, out there in the comments section. And also, I know there are people who have bought these a AIO TC1 guitars, right? The Tele style version of, of the guitar like this. And if you own one of those guitars, what do you think about it? And would you also want to get a Strat version like I got here? I have grown to love the Tele body shape. Uh, I would say with me, it's sort of an acquired taste, but I always love a Strat style body. And so this guitar for me is just, you know, this is just easy to love. Now sometimes neck through bodies can be a little bit on the heavy side. And I would say that this guitar is slightly heavier than maybe an equivalent bolt-on version or something, but it's certainly not a heavy guitar. I weighed this, this exact guitar and it came out to 7.6 pounds, about seven and a half pounds. And so for a Strat style guitar, that's a pretty good weight. You know, it's maybe on a little bit on the heavy side for a Strat, but uh, certainly light 
for a single cut or Les Paul style guitar. So guys, I'm gonna have links down in the video description below for where you can get this guitar. And of course, check out the different variations they have. In case you don't want this exact one, like I said, they've got a lot of different um, variations to choose from. Also guys, it's a new year, 2023. Here we are. I don't know about you, but I'm extremely excited for the new year. I'm feeling really good about it. Do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? Maybe a technique that you're trying to get even better at? Or maybe, uh, you know, you're trying to put together a new band or a new recording project. Tell me about it. What are you guys looking forward to in 2023? Okay, guys, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed looking at this beautiful guitar as much as I did. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you very soon.